Eco Man, Biodiverse Green Roof Design and Construction Specialist. I'm Michael Hickman. I design and construct proudly South African biodiverse green roofs. I'm without a doubt the most knowledgeable and experienced green roof design and construction expert in South Africa. I have 23 years of green roof design and construction experience gained both in Germany and in South Africa. Here are some of the, the early experiences in Germany. This is Wilhelmshaven. Later I was the overall technical advisor, plant expert as well as the green roof design and construction expert on the team that undertook the first green roof research done in South Africa which was carried out by the city of Durban under the direction of master's degree student Clive Greenstone seen here on the roof. Here are some photographs of the roof before damage done to it which we repaired, um, drainage here we setting out. Uh, the, the first uh, portion of the experiment you can see the underlay and the protection barriers and soil here is planted up with the sign there. Here's another experiment we did using modules. Um, here's in a soil science lab we weighed and tested various samples for suitability. Here we are again inside the lab. Uh, Clive with a tray on a, a very accurate scale to measure the weight. We went out into the field, uh, investigated what plants grew on rocky slabs and harsh, in, in harsh environments. Uh, we selected various of these which we brought back and uh, grew them. Many of them landed up on our green roofs. Uh, this is Albuca Nelson, a very salt tolerant specimen. Uh, Crassula ovovatus, proven to be very good. Here's another one, Della sperma tradescanthioides, and, and the list goes on and on. Um, one of the characteristics that make a plant suitable are storage organs, as you saw there, uh, bulbs. Uh, orchids which have pseudo bulbs have been very very successful in trials that I have been undertaking. Just a selection of plants we have collected in the wild and, and trialed and have proven to be very very successful in particular this little Delasperma lineari. Some of the creatures we found on our green roofs, uh, you know, spiders, butterflies, in particular the ones we see the uh, larvae of a very colourful butterfly, uh, butterflies that are feeding on the crassulaceae that we have on the, on the roof. Um, here are some slides of the uh, information pamphlet that we put out when we first started this uh, green roof. It, it was reasonably comprehensive but uh, didn't you know, give me any of the answers because we were still seeking the answers but it was to advise the public what we were doing and what our objectives were. Now here are some slides of the modules that we planted up that was also researched which was the, the better option modules or laying up straight on the roofs. So you can see some of the plants there have rather attractive flowers. Here's the first section that we laid up directly on the roof. Here's some photographs of the second. Uh, Schlingiwi who has been our helping hand right from the beginning in all of the projects we've been involved in. Uh, some of the press coverage that we've had in regards to the green reef, roof uh, research for the city council. Uh, articles in local magazines. Uh, some further research we have been undertaking where we've been trialling different edging and here we've got aluminium, uh, here we have uh, concrete edging, uh, different plants, these are mostly plants that we have recently sourced plants that are up until this stage weren't in, uh, in cultivation and um, here's the uh, manual that we produced um, at the end of the project and um, here's one of the commercial projects we did a reasonably large roof 
Uh, it's proven to be very, very successful. As you will no doubt see, there's the green roof team, Shlengiwi, myself in the middle, and Clive on the right. Uh, here's some uh, photographs, uh, later photograph. Another project we undertook in Durban, right at the harbour entrance, using modular system. Again, it's been very, very successful, as you will see but at the end of this. Look at the, uh, the, the growth that we've achieved here in a very, very harsh environment, right we are in the teeth of the northeasterly wind, salt-laden wind. Uh, an article on myself there, some construction I've done elsewhere, um, trialing uh, at different plants under different uh, conditions. Um, and of course it gives quite a pleasing effect as you can no doubt see. Not every house has uh, vegetation like this up on the roof and it really stands out. Um, it, it becomes quite a talking point, um, something you could also have on your roof. Um, ongoing trials that I have been doing with various plants, every roof I can find I have trays with various plants on and in, in containers that are practically no soil. And, and my local inspector who comes and has a look to see that everything's going according to plan. Some more of these trays, different plants, uh, different stages. Um, some of them are doing exceptionally well, uh, self-seeding, so they replenish themselves when they die off. Um, yeah, you know, our research has been very, very extensive and is ongoing. You know, we have more answers without any shadow of doubt than anyone else in this country when it comes to plants and their suitability. Articles that I've written for various magazines, this one here is for South African Roofing, um, I've written quite a number of articles over the last year or two. Um, an invitation from the city of Dubai to come in and design and, and install a green roof. And yeah, if you want one, yeah, here's where you go if you, to get one.